to help business owners become successful, which means residents. If we have more business in our communities, like restaurants, uh, 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 um, um, just venues that we can go to to entertain ourselves, like in Oak Park, like you got on Rush Street. This is what he is working for, and he has been successful. Now, this is a Okay. Hey, Joe. I'm excited to be here. It's good to be here and see so, so many people talking about economics. It's a very important piece of our movement and what we are supposed to be doing. And I looked around the room and I said, wow, that guy that looks like uh, Mark Wallace, but he looks a little different, though. And I thought about it, and I walked up here. That is Mark Wallace. I didn't know that. I can't see him. But, but a powerful brother. But what's happening now is just like you have Greek Town and Chinatown and Boys Town and Little Italy and all of those things, those are economic drivers for other communities. So as much as you do when you have places that you live, you basically just in our communities, we live, we sleep, and we go. We don't live in our community because we don't have that walkability factor that most communities look for. And so until we start looking at not just uh, uh, sleeping in a property, but actually living in a community, nothing changes. And so, right here in Austin, 85% of the disposable income of Austin, which is 100,000 people, goes right across the street to Oak Park. That's, you cannot sustain a community when all of your passive income goes across the street. And so, and African Americans have a lot to offer. And I believe we do every other people a disservice when we do not allow them to experience the greatness of our culture. Mm -hmm. And so that's why Chicago Avenue, we've been working to create the Soul City uh, corridor. So when you look up and you see the banners, uh, that's what we've been working on. <clears throat> we were excited when Patricia came in and we were able to work with them to get this property, rehab this property, we put about at least about $2 million on the street. We got other businesses opening up in the fourth door, next door, down the street. We did the toys even though they're not open now. They use funding. So we've just been marching down the street uh, just trying to pull this together. So this is fantastic. And I hope you guys will continue to do this. And I'm, I'm waiting to see the day when the curtain is open and okay. people are all up and down the street and they can see things like this. Because I always say, say that our children will never be what they're going to see. Mm -hmm. And so this is a window to our people. And so as you're traveling up and down the street, if all the windows are closed all the time, all my windows are closed. So I, I'm, I'm pretty good <laughs> quiet. My windows are closed right now. But as we get to open it up and people get to see what's happening, it changes the community. That's what people are looking for. <coughs> they're looking for not to sleep, but they're looking for areas where they can live. That's what we're working on here in Chicago. Okay.